Hi guys, welcome to Cognitive Hub Talent Tutorials. In this video, we are going to see about one more component in Talent Studio that is TDB output. Till now, we have seen about uh, how to load the data from the delimited file and JSON file as well as XML file. But in this video, we are going to see about how to load the data into a database and how to create a table through Talent Studio and how to create a, uh, how to assign a schema for it. So without wasting any time, let's dive into the topic. So first of all what we need to do is go to repository panel on the left side of the designer tab and under the job designs I created a new folder named talent tutorials. So I am creating a new job again. So right click on talent tutorials and do create job. So I am giving a name as a database loading and purpose as a loading contents to into database. As well as description, I am giving it as a usage of TDB output. So I am just giving a random purpose and description here. So once you are done with it, it will direct the job is directly opening in uh, designer tab. So what I am going to create is I am just loading the data present in the existing file in our local system to the talent studio. So for that, what I am doing is I am I am uh, inserting a delimited component here that we already seen in the previous lecture so if you want to know more about uh, detailed explanation about t-file input delimited and t-file input xml or json file please go to the previous lectures in this tutorial session and uh, double click on this component it will directly open the component tab under this designer panel so here we have a property type and schema type for now uh, keep it as uh, built in and for schema what uh, just want to see about the so in the file under the file name go to the file in your local system here under the de desktop i have a youtube folder here under finalize i have a talent folder again so what i am doing is i am create i have created a sample.txt previously so i am opening it i am just copying the path here so here the role separator is slash n as well as uh, the file is uh, sample.txt is nothing but one second i am just opening that file so this is the file uh, path i am opening it so this is the contents that is present here here the first line is the row like the first line is header and the remaining four lines are the contents that we have and here the field separator is ca comma as well as the row separator is slash n so that is what i am mentioning here here the row separator is slash n as well as field separator i am modifying it as a comma instead of a semicolon so again we have a header here and i am replacing the header as 0 to 1 because it will skip the one number of row in the given file so this is how the you need to configure it and one more thing it is also showing that uh, some error warnings here one is the no schema has been defined yet as well as the component should have output links so first thing is we need to edit a schema here here the first we need to create a schema manually so first one is first name and it is a string i am leaving it second name sorry last name it is also a string i am leaving it and thirdly age so it is a integer so i am just modifying the data type here into integer once it is done i clicked ok now it is done the it will show only one uh, warning that is component should have output links so for that what i am going to do is i am just uh, printing the contents here t log co row component which is used to print the data that is loaded into the t this component and this will print the contents in our console 
and uh, you need to connect both these components using the connector like here we have two types of connectors rows as well as triggers rows means uh, the main row is nothing but a which will carry the data from one component to another component and trigger will carry the will do not carry any component that means uh, will do not carry any data it will just uh, like what we say it will just uh, carry the action once uh, the top job is completed then only the under, uh, next sub job will get executed like uh, only on sub job okay or on, so on sub job error all these things i am going to explain it to you in the later lectures so for now we we'll connect these two components using the main connectors here so see the both uh, uh, both the warnings are vanished here so here you need to assign a schema for the t log row component as well so for that what i am doing is if you click on sync column then it will automatically take the schema that you have in the t file input delimited and copy it in the t log row so that is how if you check the schema of the t log row component it will same as uh, it is same as both uh, t file input delimited and t log row component t log row component yeah so that is how it works so what we have uh, we are, if you want to check whether the, the data is loading into t log row component or not go to run uh, run tab and click the run button here so see this is how the data is displayed header row is not displaying here the remaining four because we skipped the first uh, one first row in the header uh, tab so these are the contents that is present in the file now what i want is i need to i want this data to in to store it in the database so for that what i am going to do is i am creating a tdb output here which will stores the out uh, which will store the data into the database so i'm enter the tdb output here search here in the panel so here we have a tdb output so first thing you need to do click on the double click click on the component double click on the component here so in the database whatever the database that you want to use suppose if you are using a postgres sql then you can directly use the postgres sql here if you want to use oracle you can uh, click on the oracle here but here i want to show you the mysql here so i clicked in mysql and once you entered that uh, database then click apply here so it will show all the configuration that you need to configure in for this particular component and one more thing i want to mention here is uh, talent studio only supports the my um, the versions of mysql under 5 only and five, we, it do not support the mysql version more than of 5 so make sure that uh, it is a mysql file and one more thing uh, if you want to like uh, if you are the first time using this component like related to database then you need to install some configurations here some drivers which uh, whenever you whenever you inserted this component it will show some error warning message here uh, top of the component uh, top component tab then you need to click inst install here so it will directly install that module and one more thing is whenever you are using this first time you need to install the mysql server in your local system so i already installed that uh, mysql server if you are not installed yet then go to mysql server in, uh, you can directly free, uh, freely download it in from your browser and make sure that uh, that uh, mysql server is running in your service tab so what i am doing is i am checking whether it is running or see here i have installed the mysql 5.7 and it is already started that means mysql server is running currently under the port number of uh, 3306 so what i i already show you that uh, mysql server is running in my local system and i also opened the mysql workbench here so i have created some connection here named data sample and i created a sample database here create database sample so the database name itself is a sample so what i am doing is the i will show you how to create a table in the, from the this component so here what we need to do is we need to insert the host name here here the host name is localhost and the port number is 3306 and that sorry here the host name is 127.0.0.1 and database name is sample that we uh, created previously and the username is 
here root and here the password is you need to modify it by clicking the three dots here right after the password call password tab and here you need to mention what are the password that you have so i am entering this is the sample password and here you need to mention what is the table name that you want to create here what i am doing is i am creating a sample output table so i am just copying it for the further use and you need to mention what is the action that you want to perform on the particular table what i want to do is i want to create a table if the table is does not exist so i modified it as a create table if does not exist and the action is insert itself and here uh, we need to edit the schema as well so once save it so what i want to do is i want to just link those two tlogro component as well as database component using the main row that means uh, the it will tlogro co component will carry the data to the database and database will store the data into the database so that is how it creates so in the tlogro component i prefer it as table and if you click on the tdb component you will be having a sync columns button here so click on the sync columns here so it automatically have the schema of uh, tlogro component so that is how that is what we want for the schema of tdb output so if you run this then the then the data present in the t file the input delimited will automatically store in the database naming uh, in sample and in the table uh, sample output database so if you run this so it is connected to the socket on port 3813 and it is printing based on the tlogro component and uh, it is also stored in the tb output because how i am saying is it is stored in the tdb output means uh, here the output is four four rows if it is not coming at as four rows then it, it might be some error in your uh, configuration or in your server or uh, in your whatever uh, whatever the configuration that we shown uh, so far so please be, make sure that all the configurations are correct and uh, i want to check whether uh, the data is there in database or not so i am going to mysql workbench here i am checking whether uh, uh, the data is present or not so for that what i am going to see is i am just saving it so here uh, under the left side uh, panel we have a sample database here i am checking whether uh, is there any tables are present say here a uh, sample output table is the uh, table that we created now so if we check the columns then these are the columns that we have so i want to see whether the dat i want to see the data is loaded or not select star from sample output table sample output table yeah i am clicking control enter so it is showing some error so you need to select the database so i am saying use sample so it is saying that uh, we are under the sample database now now whenever it is created sorry sample output table okay guys uh, here the error is uh, why it is not uh, coming the data is here you need to mention the lens here by default it is taking the lens as zero that is why it is not uh, taking the content so you need to mention the lens under the tdp output component schema here for first uh, for uh, first name last name and age i am mentioning the lens as 202020 so just for sample i am saving it again so i am going to run tab and click on the run here so if it is executed then it is not show that warning as data is too long so it is not showing that error let's go to that mysql workbench again so i am using this uh, sample database and clicking on sample output table here see there is the data that we have in the file so this is how you need to load the data into the database and store the store into your table so this is how the tdb output will work and in the coming lectures i am going to explain you about how to use the tdb input and how to load the data how to store that uh, data that we retrieved from the tdb input and store it in the some other file like t file output dlm or t file output uh, xml and all so thank you guys